Though many believe that school is all about learning, reading, writing, and arithmetic, part of being in education is embedding skills that help students grow to become responsible, capable, and kind adults. Especially when students feel lost or alone, it can be difficult to reach them. It's why I'm starting this five-part video series surrounding the topic of empathy. One of the best ways to make our students stronger and more resilient is to teach them this important skill. Empathy and sympathy can often get confused in today's world. Sympathy is the act of feeling sorry for someone. We especially use the sentiment when someone has lost a loved one. What can be more powerful than just feeling sorry for someone is trying to identify and feel what that person is feeling. Empathy was once touted as walking in another's shoes. However, it can be hard to actually do that when you lack that specific experience in your own life. Empathy has been reconstructed as an attempt to understand the emotions that come along with an event despite not having gone through it ourselves. Merriam-Webster defines empathy as the action of understanding, being aware of, being sensitive to, and vicariously experiencing the thoughts, feelings, and experience of another. Using my prior example, if you have never lost a parent, it's hard to say that you know the emotions associated with that tragedy. Empathy is a willingness to acknowledge the emotions that an individual will most likely feel and identify with a person through those feelings. When kids learn empathy, they start to recognize the power of identifying with emotions outside of their own, and that is a fundamental tool for supporting kind behavior in kids. A child will be more likely to refrain from shoving a classmate or using bullying language if they can practice empathy and acknowledge the feelings of being shoved or taunted. Those are the practices we all want for kids today when the world is already such a difficult place to be. Please watch the follow-up videos as I discuss the importance of modeling empathy in the authentic situations and specific strategies to teach students empathy in the school setting. Thank you for your empathy educators as you continue to recognize and take to heart the feelings and behaviors of your students. See you soon.